So the next part we're, we're going to talk about is HIV treatment access. So raise your hand in here if you've ever been personally vi victimized by your insurance company. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Some of us are just victims here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in in not another world, I'm an insurance navigator. So I work with patients, whether it's vision, dental, medical, Medicare, Medicaid, on how to navigate their insurance to get it to work best for them. In other words, I'm the loophole guy. <laughs> so, to get treatment for testing, for procedures, nine times out of 10, all you have to do is ask for a determination. So, for instance, one of my uh, most recent clients, uh, could not get his diet, his new diet, his new insulin pump uh, covered by his, in, his insurance. Seven hundred fifty dollars out of pocket. Um, so we had to go through his doctor and do a medical de de determination that this was going to be the best for his quality of life. Phrases you want to use when putting together a determination with your doctor are improving the quality of life. Anything about you know longevity, anything that's going to be a positive impact on the person's personal health. When it comes to getting HIV treatment and access for that, things get a little scary. So uh, currently, uh, with the Trump administration and what they're trying to do with our healthcare system, um, it's going to take a lot of the younger folks who are on prep and HIV meds. Um, it's going to kind of de de destroy that. You know, I'm not going to mentor it here. We um, so my meds, Complera, roughly cost me about three thousand dollars a month without insurance. I am a waiter, folks. There is no, I don't care where I wait tables. That's not going to happen. So what do I do? Well, I am currently. Uh, I just uh, signed on for a study that's going that is going to help uh, with the coverage of my current meds. Um, you can also talk to your in insurance company about any kind of issues that you may be having when it comes to covering your co-pays. Uh, most insurance companies will have a write-off program where if it is a medical necessity for you to have any kind of HIV treatment or any, any other what we call long-term care disease. Insurance companies will write off copays. You just have to ask. Say you have find a kinky doctor or a doctor that you really want to want to want to see, but your insurance company says they're not in network. Ask for what's known as a coverage determination. What that will do is that will make that doctor in network for you. There are so many loopholes that a lot of people don't know just because they don't ask. So I always tell, tell, tell folks, well, it says this in my policy. Yeah, but have you asked it to be changed? <laughs> because if you, because closed mouths don't get fed. And I don't, I, I don't know about you, but I like to eat. Um, Zach, who would somebody like if you wanted to, if you didn't know where to start, mm -hmm. who would you find? Who would you, who would you ask? So if you didn't know where to start. Uh, on the back, uh, if you have insurance, uh, on the back of your insurance card is a phone number for customer service, which I know everyone loves to call. <laughs> call them, and then ask them to transfer to a, a, a member advocate or their, uh, their appeals and determinations department. It's going to be a long phone call, folks. I'm going to warn you now. But it's going to be worth it in the long run. I've seen things get covered that uh, that a insurance company flat out said, "Nope, we are never going to cover this." It was deemed medically necessary with medical proof, and here and they covered a thirty-five thousand dollar procedure. You know, it's not now. Here's the thing with getting with getting access and using those those loopholes. It's not always instant, so it's always good to kind of stay ahead of the game. If you know that you're losing some sort of coverage or if you're going to need a procedure in the next month or two, call ahead of time and get that process started. That way you can get that timeline rolling. 
So if you have any, that, those are some general kind of conversations around access and treatment and how to navigate like the insurance aspect of things. Um, if you have like a specific issue that you want to talk about, I'll be hanging out after and we can chat one on one and I can give you some free advice based on what I know and my own experience.